This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. When you're working in your Word document, especially when you're working in a document that someone else has created, there are times when you just can't figure out what's going on. There's extra spaces in there, there's something happening that you don't like, you don't need, you don't want, but you can't seem to fix it. So I want to show you the magic trick. There really is a magic trick. There's a button called the Show Hide button, and what it does for you is it lets you see the non-printing characters to help you better identify what's happening inside of your Word document so you can fix it. Let's go look at an example. So here I have a Word document. As I take a scroll through, you'll notice nothing especially different about it, but I have this little spacing error down here at the bottom I can't figure out. Why is all this space here at the bottom of the page when I only have a one inch bottom margin? I don't, I don't like the way that's looking. So let's go figure out why I have that extra space. On the Home tab, in the ribbon, in the Paragraph section, you have this backwards P. It's called the Show Hide. It's actually a paragraph marker, but I think it looks like a backwards P. When you click on the Show Hide button, it's just a toggle. It turns things on and it turns things off. And one of the things it turns on for you is the ability to see where page breaks have been manually inserted. So now I can see the spacing issue. Oh. Someone's inserted a page break here. Okay, well now that I understand that, I'm going to go ahead and leave it because I think they probably did that so that the words on the next page go along with the graphic on the next page. Well, let's take a scroll up and see what happens with the show hide. Now you can see at the end of paragraphs, you can see the paragraph marker. So you can tell when the enter key has been struck on the keyboard. So as I work through my document here, there's another one the beginning, I can't highlight this one, but just to the left of the N in navigation pane, just to the left of that highlighted text, you can see that little square. That little square indicates that a style has been applied to the text. And as I continue scrolling down here in this section, you'll notice that the spaces are indicated with a little dot. Little dots show when the space has been used. And you can also identify here that I've used three, let me highlight them so you can see, three returns so I could get that blue line to show up underneath the graphic. Oh, there's another line, paragraph right there, an enter key. All right, so let's keep scrolling. You can see now where the paragraphs are. You can see the little square box for the style formatting. And as we continue down, I want to go all the way to the bottom where I can get into some new spaces. I want to show you some other things that aren't in this particular document. You already know that when you hit the Enter key, you get the backwards P. When you hit the tab on your keyboard, I'm just clicking the tab key, you get arrows that point to the right. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Enter key again. And sometimes what happens is people have accidentally rested their finger on the space bar, right? And then they type, this is a test. And when the show hide, I'm just going to turn the button off. When the show hide's not on, it might look like I was trying to center that in the middle of the page. So when I try to rearrange it or to try to move it, and it doesn't move anywhere, I can't figure out what's going on. When I turn the show hide on, I can say, oh, all right, that's it. Either someone did that intentionally because they didn't know how to center in the middle of a page, or they accidentally rested on the space bar and they got all those extra spaces. So then they can identify those spaces are there. I'm just clicking and dragging to take them out. So as you're working, remember, anything that is not a printable character will show up when you turn on your Show Hide button. And the benefit of that is you can visually see things that are inside of your document that A, you want, or B, you don't want, and then you can get rid of them. I love it. Some people love it and they leave it on all the time and they type constantly with the Show Hide on. Personally, I turn it on when I am proofreading and double checking that a document is consistent throughout the document and I have exactly what I want. But what you'll decide is how often you like it, whether you want it on all the time or just when you need it. But now you know about the Show Hide button so you can use it to your advantage.